Hey guys, this is Jay Snow with a year in review, I guess, vlog. It's basically going to be rambling, so there's going to be games. I guess I'll split it into games and in real life stuff. It's going to be more in real life stuff than games, because for some reason I can't remember what I did in gaming this year. But I guess there wasn't that much going on, so I guess we'll go, with, we'll start with DayZ. So DayZ, we got the whole overall overhaul thing of 0.61, I think it was. So that was pretty cool at first, like everything was changed, all the zombies, all the graphics were upgraded, the zombies started jumping walls, and all this crazy stuff. And it was okay for a while, but then of course it got boring over time, and then I think we got 0 0.62, and that was about it. <laughs> so the year review for Daisy is pretty terrible. We got the renderer, but we didn't get anything else as far as substance, so... Uh, development is so slow, if not even happening at all. So right now they're on break, even though it feels like they've been on break forever, uh, for four years or whatever, however many years it's been. I think we're going on five years pretty soon of Daisy early access. So we'll have to see. So six, uh, I guess, looking forward to next year. Zero point sixty three is the beta patch. So Daisy will be out of alpha and it will be in beta. And whether or not that patch is good is pretty much going to make or break Daisy. So that's why I haven't been posting any Daisy videos because it's just not worth my time to play uh, 0 0.62 right now because it's just pretty boring and there's not much going on and it takes forever to get a video together because you have to find people who are actually playing and 90% of the time it's the same thing. Find the bandits, get shot in the face, have to respawn 30 minutes away and spend another hour walking around. Not really that fun. And the mod it was pretty fun, but in, in standalone, for some reason, it's just not fun to be walking around. And it's going to get even worse, because in 0 0.63, according to the GamesCon, I think it was GamesCon, but I felt like a while ago. According to the GamesCon, or whatever it was, footage, uh, they're putting in a stamina bar, which means you can't run forever anymore. So now, as far unless they up the player count, it's going to take twice as long to find people, because you have to wait every, let's say, minute or couple of... 30 seconds of running to catch up to somebody so that should be interesting of course for axe murdering that's definitely very interesting because i can now wait for my targets to be sprinting around and then catch up to them slowly and then they'll run out of you know no more no more long chasing fights or whatever no more long chases because eventually somebody's gonna run out of stamina first and somebody's not so that would be pretty interesting to see how you can sneak up in your target and get them really quickly so we'll have to see how that goes and whatever other features, I don't mean, I don't remember anything from Gamescom because it's just a while ago. But I do remember that stamina bar because that's going to affect the game uh, quite a bit. It's going to make it even longer, that's what it's going to do. A World of Warcraft in review. The World of Warcraft, I don't have much to say about it except for what a Legion come out, I think in 2016. I didn't really jump into Legion until this year. So maybe I jumped into it 2016, I can't remember. But I didn't, I know I didn't really jump into it right away. Uh, so, it's been okay, I mean, it's been a lot of updates, lots of world quests, what do we get? We got the Broken Shore, I mean, is it Broken Isle or is it Broken Shore? Yeah, I think it's Broken Shore, so that was pretty fun, I mean, the only thing is it's so gloomy in Legion, so between 7.2, I think it was, and 7.3, the Broken Shore and Argus are just not, except for that one zone in Argus, I think it's called McCree Backerby or something like that. But other than those two places, I mean, other than that place, it's been very gloomy expansion. Not really much to see as far as the, except for the main isles. So my only gripes with World of Warcraft is the map. The map is just weird, man. Because they try to congest all the quests and everything into one little space. So I think Valsharar, I think that's what's called Valsharar, is basically the prime example for that. Like, you're in Moonglade, then all of a sudden you're back in, like, Glaneus. And then you're back in some Emerald Nightmare, and these are all like five feet apart. So the, the zones are very cluster f and we'll have to, they should probably spread them out like the Barons. I want another zone like the Barons or something where it's, you know, it's spread out a little bit. So you're able to actually see and enjoy the scenery instead of just walking right into different places. And then, of course, more colorful places or zones. Because right now, I'm tired of seeing fell. <laughs> I think everybody's tired of seeing fell and demons. Like, it's a good thing. So, yeah, the expansion, I almost forgot about that. So, other than doing world quests over and over and over again, we have the expansion coming out, World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth. So that should be pretty interesting. We're going back to Alliance versus Horde theme. 
So we'll have to see how that goes. But for uh, not much info was released that I can remember at the moment. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that goes. I mean, I'm expecting beta to be in probably March, and then the game should release either summer or in uh, September, or the same as uh, when Legion was released, which I think was September or October. If I'm remembering correctly. So we'll have to see when that's released. And then what I'm more excited for is WoW Vanilla, <laughs> or WoW Classic as they call it. So going back to old school World of Warcraft, which will be interesting to see how the community reacts, because everybody's, you know, complaining that, oh, you know, this is not, this is Vanilla WoW, it's too hard for me. Like, oh my god, I can't pull more than three mobs, like, what is this crap? You know, it's going to be like that, and people are going to be complaining, where's my group finder? <laughs> it's like, I can already see all the complaints. And, you know, group finder would be nice, but that's how we did it in the old days. We had to get five random people, spend an hour in trade chat, and finally fly our butts over there to, what do you call it, to get into our dungeons and all that. I'm just looking more for the world PvP aspect, because that should be pretty fun. Because the realm, as long as they keep the realms, get rid of cross realms, there should be some huge PvP battles going on. And hopefully maybe they put an incentive to do that. I forgot if there was an incentive to do world PvP. And classic, maybe there was. I know there was honor ranks, like actual ranks, like you would get lieutenant, peon, and stuff like that. So, well, let's see how those go. That's the year review for WoW. So right now, they're just playing it safe. That's my, I guess, my review for WoW. Playing it safe, nothing too special. Uh, I don't raid, though, so I can't really comment on the raiding part. Alright, so we hit WoW, we hit DayZ, and those are the main games I play. Oh, Magic the Gathering. Yeah, I should probably mention this. Uh, so Magic the Gathering, I pretty much quit Paper Magic. So, as far as Paper Magic, the I still have opening videos left from last year. A few from this Christmas. And that's basically it. I'm no longer buying packs or anything like that because... I mean, unless they're like dirt cheap or I get them for free. I'm not really buying packs because it's just it's too expensive. And then when you think about it, even though it's like the worst nightmare of all Magic players... <laughs> it's like it's cardboard it, it really is just cardboard and the, the only good thing about what the hell uh, that's a lot of noises outside the only good thing about Magic the Gathering is unlike like Yu-Gi-Oh is you have multiple formats so they have formats where cards cost a penny or they have pauper where cards where main decks cost like maybe 50 or even a hundred yeah a hundred is not even cheap but a hundred dollars maybe max is the best deck or fifty dollar decks to compete with I'm not a fan of Popper though but I used to play modern a lot and modern was super expensive and then I got into standard and standard was actually became super expensive and I, I still like standard but I'm probably gonna quit standard because I mean except for on magic arena but we'll have to see I can't really talk about magic arena but I'll talk about it in a little bit, just the basic stuff, because they did release some info on it. But yeah, as far as Paper and Magic, that's pretty much it for me, because my brother also quit playing at my local shop. Local shops suck, man. <laughs> There's one shop, it's never open at the right time. It's like one dude running it. It just sucks. And then the other one is just okay, but the people there, eh. I mean, they're putting, not that they're watching the video, but I'm going to say that it, it kind of sucks, because you got some of those, you know, you got those people who are, you know, full of it, and etc. So it's just not a pleasant environment. So definitely not going to be playing any Magic together soon, but that's why we have Magic Arena coming out. And, you know, all I can say is, let's see, what can I actually say? I mean, I'm trying to think of the live, I didn't watch the live stream, but I guess just going by the live stream, you know, it's going to be standard. It should be pretty fun. And that's really about all I could say. I mean, the only thing is, the only thing is, uh, do I want to actually dump money on it? That's the problem, because they screwed us on Magic Duels. At least I got screwed by $40, but I guess if you think about it in retrospect, I was able to get into the beta, so I guess I can let that slide a little bit. <laughs> I got into the beta, like, in the first wave, so I was like, eh, I know I threw out $40, but thank you, Wizards of the Coast, I guess. So I have to see how that, we'll have to see how that works, or I'll be a free-to-play, and since... We don't really know how the free-to-play model goes, and I can't talk about it right now. But as far as it, as far as buying packs or whatever they're going to implement, we'll have to see if they make dust or anything like that, because nobody has any idea what the model is going to be. And yeah, that's all I can talk about that, because I don't want to keep going, and then all of a sudden I'm going to say something against the NDA. 
So that's it for Magic the Gathering, which which kind of sucks because I miss playing. I did play Cube on Christmas Day with my brother, but Cube is like, now he wants to play modern or nothing, and it's like, I can't really... I got rid of all my modern stuff. I don't have a modern deck anywhere. It's just... Oh, my cards are all over the place. That's that's another issue, is that I was so wrapped up in buying packs that I didn't realize that at the end of the day, you're just left with bulk. <laughs> like, even if you make your money back, you're left with, like, a ton of bulk, and you, if, you're not, if you're not living in a big house or a big room, like, I'm in a small room, so you just, you're just left with no space, which comes with the cost of the cards, I guess, which definitely outweighs the good from the bad. All right, so that's the year in Magic the Gathering for me. Now on to the in real life stuff. So, wow, this is a 10 minute video. Uh, so, <laughs> in real life stuff. So this year I was mostly in a day treatment program for, you know, for stuff. I'm not really going to go into it. But for issues, mental issues, like what do you call it? Because I found out I was bipolar uh, last year. So I had, I had to sign myself up for a day treatment center because I couldn't really take that crap anymore. And I was in there for about seven months, and what sucked is I did not make any friends there, even though I didn't really want to, because it was, it was a host of characters with all different kinds of issues and stuff, you know, kind of like, you know, you have some people in there because they need to be, there's some people in there because the courts mandate them to be, which are the people you don't really want to associate with, and then you got drug addicts, so it's a whole mix of shit, of stuff together. Didn't mean to curse, because <laughs> that's another thing in year of YouTube, getting them monetized. I don't really want to go into that, but yeah, basically if you curse, or somebody you hurt somebody's feelings, or you, you accidentally play the wrong type of game, uh, you get demonetized or something. It's, it's stupid. But anyway, going back to what I was saying. So that was seven months of that. I went back to school. School was whatever. I was hoping to see if I could make some friends or just find something interesting to do. I did psychology. And the teacher made it boring. It should have been an interesting subject, but the teacher was just so boring. Like, she thought she was, like, so cool because she would know about current events. Like, she'd be like, oh, like, Nintendo Switch and Pizzagate and relevant cool stuff. I'm like, ugh, oh, that was cringe. But anyway, got through that. Then uh, I had, like, a couple weeks of day program left. Pretty much ended up with that, so that I'm now on a stable dose of meds and all that good stuff. And then I started feeling down again. And, no, actually, no, it wasn't. No, September, I went back to school for, I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> That's how forgettable this class was. Uh, I wanted to say culturepology, which is not even a thing. Uh, anth anthropology. And I just passed it with a 90, which I, I don't know how. I did not, except for the first test, I did not study. I did not read half the readings. I fell asleep in half the classes, and yet I still got a 90. So I, I don't get it. <laughs> but it's one of those classes where it's like, is this really going to get you a job in the future? Like, no. Just no. Absolutely not. So it was definitely one of those boring classes. But anyway, uh, I started to go to meetup groups. And... What was the first one? The first one was a Halloween party, which was really cool. There was a lot of, you know, hot looking girls, and, you know, it wasn't much candy, though. <laughs> I'm more disappointed in that. There was no candy at the Halloween party. <laughs> yeah, there was girls, there was guys, there was beer, and all that good stuff. So I had a fun time there. Uh, it was a meeting for social and anxious people and shy people, so that's me. Unfortunately, you know, you probably can't tell from YouTube. But, you know, there's YouTube personality and then there's shit you gotta do in real life. So, it's a different thing, but I felt like, hey, you know, people aren't gonna be... Yeah, how to explain? Like, basically, if things get awkward, people understand that awkward crap. So, it doesn't get... It doesn't get too awkward. It just stops right there. Because you know you're both being awkward or whatever. And then it just doesn't matter because, you know, you understand. That's what's pretty cool about it. So, there was a Halloween party. Then there was... The second one I went to was... Karaoke. Yeah, it was karaoke. Karaoke, I did some singing and crap. $7 beer. <laughs> $7 for a regular beer. Like, absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, I met some people there. And then we went to, uh, Without to Eat. Then we went to a club where I danced with girls and stuff, which I had never done in my life. I, I cringe to this day because I had no clue what the hell I was doing. I've never been in a club before. 
and the clubs are just weird. It was a bunch of like certain types of people, <laughs> certain types of people. Now I'm being racist. Uh, it was just people dancing all weird and stuff, and it was just like people grinding each other. One girl getting choked out like this on the in the back of the room, and, and she's liking it and stuff. Just really weird. Just really weird crap at the club. Uh, but, you know, I'm not a club person. When I go again, maybe. I think there's another one coming up uh, in January, but who knows. But, you know, I met a person there, and uh, we hung out. And then afterwards, we went to another meetup with the person I hung out with. And what do you call it? We went to a dodgeball meetup. And then go. it went okay, because there was a bar afterward, but she didn't really want to go to the bar. So finally, we went to the bar. And it was like whatever. The people in the back were taking their shots and stuff. We were just eating. And it was overall, it was an okay time. And then lost contact. Yeah, so... I don't know, I was trying to text people like, Hey, you want to go out, etc. And not, not much was going on. Uh, so, I lost contact with that person. So, I don't know what's happening. They said they were busy till January. So, well, I, maybe I'll get a text message randomly. But I don't really want to bother them because it feels like I'm pulling all the weight, and that's what's weird about friendships. Is like I'm not. I'm, I used to have a lot of friends, but now that I don't have any, it's just really confusing. Like I don't know when I'm being too needy or not needy enough. <laughs> so it's like, what? Eh, how does that work? And, and all right, so that's that. And like, yeah, the last thing was I went out with an older friend, and that didn't go all that well. Uh, he, I know he watches the videos, so I kind of want to mention it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to mention it now that I think of it, but it, it went okay. And then it ended up, ended up going to see other friends that I haven't seen in like a year. And that went, eh, not that great. But then again, that's why I don't really hang out with that group of people that much anymore. So... Yeah, I'm going to keep that vague because some of them do watch the videos. No offense, no offense. But anyways, that was my year, so it just sucked because, uh, you know, I got a taste of the, not the good life, but let's say the taste of normalcy, which was the club and karaoke and just hanging out with people and stuff like that. And now I'll be spending my winter break probably just gaming, single player games, not like YouTube and stuff. So, uh, yeah, YouTubing and live streaming, I just don't know what to do. I want to play, I want to live stream Magic Arena when it comes out, but I kind of want to be a successful stream. But that's probably not going to be the case, so whether or not I'll be streaming that, who knows. I mean, I'll probably stream it, but as far as, like, after after the game starts getting, like, boring or whatever happens, then we'll have to see how the streams go. Of course, if Daisy 0 0.63 ever comes out, then uh, we'll stream that, definitely. Definitely stream that. And, uh, yeah, it's basically it. So this has just been, yeah, as I was saying before, you know, I got a little taste of the normal life with the club and everything, and fortunately everything kind of fell apart, so not really a great year. I think my New Year's resolution for last year, or what for this year, was supposed to be make a new friend, and I got so close, so close. But not right, not quite missed the mark. Or maybe I didn't, but, you know, I don't know how these things work. <laughs> That's what happens when you're, like, socially, not socially retarded, but, like, socially, not adept. Yeah, there you go. Socially adept, not socially adept. But anyways, I like to thank you guys for supporting the channel. I mean, this year has been a very stale year, in my opinion, as far as just the channel overall. Not really many gains, not much going on. It seems like the less I do... Yeah, the less I do, the better the channel gets. The more I start posting, the worse the channel gets. I don't know why that happens, but I'll have to figure that out. So that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching this video. If you made it all the way to the end, because holy crap, it's a 20 minute video. <laughs> and that's it. So thanks for watching. And I hope you guys, I wish you guys a happy new year. And may your new year resolutions come true.